Spencer certified me as a love expert, as in I know not to put silicone lube on silicone toys, basically. March 31st, hell yeah. God damn. I, I, what kind of handjob gloves we got? We don't use gloves. I don't know about you, but you know, we go raw here. No gloves, no condoms. Let's see. Off. <laughs> I would make a joke, say, imagine using lube, but for the love of God, use lube. Yeah. Um, one time a dude came into my store. I think I've told this before, uh, but he was asking me what type of lube he should use. And I just told him, um, I think I just recommended like some silicone lube. And um, he's like, well, cool. My wife was getting sick of the olive oil. <laughs> Once I didn't use enough in pain. <sighs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm pretty like looking back. I'm pretty sure he was just trying to like. Just like get me to get me to rile up or something. Just use main. <laughs> Might as well just use mayonnaise if you're using olive oil. <laughs> He's more Italian than me. <laughs> he definitely want, won't get maggots in your ass. Olive oil is great for tenderizing your meat. Alright, three, two, one. No, I bet. Like, um, let's see, we're going to go watch you up here first. Misty Mountain fight. <clears throat> I mean, the bugs, not the Slipknot fa fans. I think I talked about this too, but I was a big... I'm still a fan of Slipknot. Not a huge fan. But, uh, yeah, I used to consider myself a maggot, even though I've never <laughs> been to a live show of theirs. I just owned all the albums on CD. Or pirated them. <laughs> Slipknot is alright. Yeah, Slipknot's been consistent, you know, they haven't gotten too crazy, or, uh, you know. They're consistent. I think, I I was listening, I remember listening to Chapel Rag, and I think that was the first song that made me go, huh, this has boomer energy. Because he's just literally talking about the internet. There's no baby metal, they're no baby metal, but they cool. Slipknot, give me cover, uh, give me chocolate cover. Win. Um, I don't know. Oh, we'll, ra we'll raise some. <laughs> we'll try to raise money for it, so I can get the uh, artist rights to cover it. Oh. But yeah, that new Slipknot song. I just listening to the lyrics of it. At least I was like, huh, Corey, you've been on Twitter a bit too much, haven't you? <laughs> Because he's, it's literally just like, kind of about the internet. And I don't know, songs about the internet or complaining about the internet feels such boober, boomer. I guess that's the thing he was complaining about, like, being detached and all this and that. And it's like, okay, old man, whatever. You used to be cool. Oh god, this guy's kicking my ass. Oh my god, I won. My girlfriend always smokes after sex, so we started using <laughs> Damn. Okay, Squanch, you win. You win. That one was good. Really? Those are wait, dis I mean I mean I can I guess I can see it. Disturbed Uh I mean, their uh, their ten thousand fists um, album cover, I guess, is like you know supposed to be for their fans or whatever. Let's see. In my high school, we just had gang fights. See, uh, in my high school, it was. <laughs> it, have I talked to you guys about the neo Nazi? And I was in my school. Like, legit neo-Nazi. 
<laughs> like, we're talking every definition of a neo-Nazi. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, so for like three years, uh, while I was, I mean, I graduated from that school. Um, but for three years, there was a literal skinhead who wore the neo-Nazi outfit of like, you know, the boots, the the shaved head, the span, the suspenders, or whatever, and he, and just for three years, he just attended the school with those very visible and very vocal beliefs, and I'm pretty sure staff at the school try to do stuff, but I don't know. I and I just remember one girl. I won't say her name. I know her name, but. She was just like, oh, yeah, you know, he's a nice guy besides the whole Nazi thing. <laughs> um, and he would finally be expelled from our school when he yelled out the N word and got into a fight with an African-American student. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't kill anybody. Well, fun fact. Uh the last um, year he was there on 420 uh, there was a rumor going ar or around 420 there was a rumor going around that uh, he was going to shoot up the school and the rumor was literally Nazi kids going to shoot up the school <laughs> god what a fucking weird time and um, uh, there was just some senior I remember in particular uh, he took it as a joke so he wore a like cardboard body armor to like all of his classes that day. But uh yeah. Whew. Yeah. You know, people people are like, man, where these Nazis came from? And it's like, they've been here all along. Y'all just y'all just really blind. Y'all just choose not to see them. Yeah, it's even more of a problem when you get into like music, like especially punk music in particular. Did any of the schools do senior skip day? Yeah, our, ours did. Yeah, but it was usually like, um, I forgot, but it was definitely like planned out and talked about beforehand. Uh, I'm trying to remember our senior prank. Uh, I wasn't involved in it because I was too lame. But uh, it, it, I, I remember it was kind of something disappointing. It wasn't. It wasn't too anything crazy. My school didn't allow seniors to do fucking anything. Holy shit! Like my my school literally had a protest against our lunch hours one year uh, because so many bomb threats kept getting called to our school and time needed to be made up. So. They just cut all of our lunches short. Don't dodge the poop bandit question. Poop bandit? What are you talking about? Wait, we have... Wait, now do you guys have a poop bandit in school? No. Uh, we didn't... We are not... We we had uh, people just calling bomb threats. <laughs> That's what we had. We had just people... Like, there was a good solid week. I remember... Uh, just nothing but bomb threats were being called in. Y'all ever had stink bomb in the air vents? Oh fuck no, thank god. Um, we've had stink bombs, like, let go. Like in cafeterias and stuff like that, or auditoriums. But never, like, in the air vents. God, fuck that. Oh god, I forgot about Who? Oh wow, nice. Senior pranks were cancelled at my school because one year the seniors mice wait, let mice paint wait, oh uh, after the speed run I'll read this. Or try to. Oh come on.
Yeah, after the speed run, I'll catch up on some of this stuff. Oh, fuck. Oh, thank God. It snuck a giant paper mache penis filled with rotten mayonnaise into the cafeteria and went off in the purse. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, do, do does anybody remember the MTV show where um, like they interview like seniors and talk about like the pranks they pulled at their schools? I forgot what it was called. I forgot the MTV show, but it was an MTV show. I, I know for a fact. You do remember it? Cool. I'm not going crazy. I forgot what it was. I know it wasn't true life. <laughs> true life. I was a senior prankster. But, uh, God, there was a show where you would just, I guess, just relive your glory days from high school. Whew. Good thing my glory days weren't in high school. <laughs> Hell yeah. The only the only response my class could come up with was at graduation is we shook his hand, we would slip a handful of penises into two hands. There was a mountain of penis at the end, or penises at the end. Keen Dragoon, welcome! Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. Oh, we're just here speed running bad games because this is just what I like doing now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh! Pennies. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I did read that just as penises. I think you're just handing him, like, candy penises, like, to him at the... When, you know, when y'all... That's actually pretty... That would actually be pretty good. Anytime you went to shake his hand, you just... You all just kept giving him, like, candy penises. Oh, man. Imagine going up to the first student, like, you know, the student with alphabetical order and going like, all right, man, the only way this is going to work <laughs> is if you hand him the first penis candy. Candy cocks. Why would we hand him uh, candy penises? We could eat those. You're not wrong. You're 100% you're valid and right. Oh! 